So I'm here in Northern Thailand. Why am I here in Northern Thailand? Because when I was back home in London, I could see my limit. I could see where my fitness limit was. And so coming here to Northern Thailand, one, the terrain. I have, a, I have on my doorstep a mountain that <laughs> is gonna make everything else in the world feel easier. <laughs> I, have a, I have a mountain on my doorstep that means that every single day I'm adapting my body to find what it takes to push itself up this mountain normal. You want to be on the terrain that doesn't give a fuck. You want to be on the terrain that doesn't give a fuck about your excess water weight, about your excess body fat, about your excess muscle. It, you, all Doisetep gives a fuck about, all my body and Doisetep gives a fuck about is exactly what it needs to get me to push the watts up this hill in the fastest possible time. So the terrain, terrain is so important if I want to reach my goal to become the fastest cyclist I can possibly be because hill reps back in London is just is just never going to do it. It's never going to do what this hill can do when it's on my doorstep and I'm pushing myself up it every single morning. So the next reason, the second reason I'm here in Chiang Mai, Thailand specifically is for the community. The community of like-minded individuals with similar goals where they, where they want to push themselves. They want to push themselves and push their limits. You know, they're all pushing themselves up Doisetep. They're all wanting to push themselves further than Doisetep. They all want to push themselves up to Doi Pui, <laughs> just further up this mountain, you know, and, and when we're all egging each other on, we've all got similar goals, it's, you know, we're all going to be pushing ourselves, it's, it's, the, it's the rising tide lifts all ships. When on a daily basis, you know, I'm, I'm meeting people that are, are changing my perspective on my own fitness potential and changing theirs at the same time, it's, uh, it's something that I could never do back home in London, you know, I, there, I, there's just not the community, there's, there's not the community back in London with with the same mindset with the same goals you know with the same mountain <laughs> with the same terrain that means we're we're going to be pushing ourselves to this kind of limit pushing our limits beyond what we thought we could do because you're never going to be able to do solo what you could do in a group and it bears out in the results you know i i pushed 338 watts for 35 minutes yesterday up Deutsche Tep, and i know that I could smash that time that I did solo if i was in a in a tt group we're in a group where they're all pushing their limits and i'm holding their wheel there's, I would smash that time because community goes hand in hand with your mindset, with your mind and without the mind your fitness is nothing. You're never going to be able to push the watts if your mind is all over the place. You know, if you're not focused, if you're not, the, the community just focuses your mind on exactly what you need to do because all around you they have, you have this competition, you have these people doing very similar things to you, pushing themselves, that means that you know, you you, you become pinpoint focused with exactly what you need to do. Third thing is the fuel. I have the fuel here. The fuel here in Chiang Mai, Thailand just happens to be the ripest, most in-season, delicious, sugar-dense, nutrient-dense fruit in the world. <laughs> and, and I can eat it. It's in abundance and I can eat it all day long and it means that I'm going to be able to recover in the fastest possible time just because of how nutrient dense it is and how sugar rich it is and how, how much water content it has. The carbohydrate calories are the body's preferred energy source. It's just, the, it's just the exact package that your body craves when you're pushing yourself beyond the limits that you've ever thought you could do. I don't want to know how fit I can possibly be. I want to have my perspective on my fitness changed every single day because of the community of people I'm around, because I'm pushing myself up terrain that I never thought I could, you know, because I'm eating fruit that means I'm a, that's facilitating me to be able to do this. And without these three things, you know, back in London, uh, you know, the, the, the timeline of me, the universe I'm in back in London where I'm not doing any of this, I'm just not as fit. There's just no way. And I'm lost with where my fitness potential lies now. It, it's somewhere infinite off in the distance. I want to be excited about not knowing where my, where my fitness potential lies. You know, being here in Northern Thailand is it, reset my goals. It's reset my goals for, for when before I, I, you know, I knew my limit. I knew where my limit was and I, 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 I was getting bored. I wasn't excited about you know, getting back on the bike again. But now that Northern Thailand has reset my goals, it's put me back in a universe of infinite possibility and that is exactly where I want to be.